filling up the mouthpiece rather than thinking through the horn. He's thinking of filling the mouthpiece up. As long as the mouthpiece is, is full, the air goes, and, and the airflow is much more pleasant and easier to control. Sort of like the difference between the breeze and a hurricane. You know, if you blow into the horn, or a hurricane, you know, the wind is hard and it, it's, it's not pleasant. In her. But when you, a breeze, which especially a steady breeze, is very pleasant and nice. And this, you get this kind of quality of tone. I find that the, all of the overtones and everything that's in the sound, find it's easier to come out. You know, you, it makes it easier for that to happen. And so therefore, and, your, and with your mouthpiece, and just making sure that your embouchure is firmly wrapped around you know, the mouthpiece and the reed, but not tightly. You're not squeezing down on the reed. You just, you know, just wrap so that there's no air that escapes. And then with the mouthpiece and reed responding and vibrating quickly, just, just filling, you know, I mean, full, full air support but sort of you know, filling up the mouthpiece and breathing, you get this full, rich, round sound that comes on. And your intonation is improved almost, almost 100% because you don't need to change your embouchure. You can go up and down the horn evenly and in tune. Let the horn find out. And that also helps that you tend to discover where the notes are on your horn and, and their pitch exactly. Maybe one or two notes might need a slight adjustment, but that's one good thing with the summer. On this saxophone, my intonation is very good from the bottom of the horn to the top of the horn without, with very minimal, if any, movement of my embouchure. I only move my embouchure if I want to make a particular kind of sound, you know, if I want to express a particular kind of uh, sound expression, let's say. <laughs> 